Self-portrait is a CVS bag impaled by a tree branch in an Arlington Heights parking lot. It's expected. A need to be useful means getting yourself used. But let me explain that before my insides were Zoloft and sugar-free Red Bull, they were nothing at all. It's not emptiness I run from. It's nothingness. Inside empty places. Here, where my ribbon innards flutter transparent in frozen silence where bald twigs drag fingernail revolts spine bent across slate leveled skies I can see I've often said I do my best thinking in trees why letting go makes more litterer of you than garbage me they said when they made me I was too delicate to hold but maybe they meant that they resented my transparency explain how I could not hide the way I contained everything they didn't want to carry for themselves, how I stretched to accommodate baggage I was never made to know the weight of until it tore right through me, how they mistook my flexibility for fragility. Whoa. But let me explain that I am only as disposable as you make me, that even split clean through my middle undisturbed, I could watch ages of men rise and fall like the breaking of the dawn every day from this tree and outlast everyone simply by refusing to be degraded. I never wanted you to save me, only to know if I could fly. Up here, it doesn't matter who or what made me, only what I've made of myself, and maybe this isn't disembowelment so much as returning to my roots, and maybe I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss your touch, that I wouldn't greet you with the same smile and have a nice day. If I saw you go by, but once I cried for 15 minutes in a strip mall parking lot to the musical stylings of Jeff Buckley. <laughs> Let me explain how I'd never been touched so gently as the wind did that day. It raptured my body from the pavement. Let me explain the certain wistful something in the way I grazed that pigeon carcass by the bus stop. Rose with such haunting grace to kiss the awning of the 24-hour laundromat. One day, you'll see me carried like a sorrowful note along a winter's breath to listen for the feeble fluttering of air and polyethylene and hear only my unbroken.